Judge Barrett, do you think it is appropriate for justices to consider real world impacts in their decision making, as Justice Ginsburg noted in a number of her dissents? Well, Senator, the doctrine of stare decisis is a good example of that because the factor reliance interests takes into account um, the real world impact, the way that people have ordered their affairs and relied on decisions. So there are contexts, yes, in which considering the impact is expressly part of the doctrine. So you would say then that you've been listening to all of us here yesterday as well as today talk about the real world impact of the striking down of the Affordable Care Act, and would all of those impacts be factors that would be important for you to consider should you be uh, a justice? Um, Senator, to be clear, I have the utmost empathy. The stories you know that you have told, including the story of Veronica's family, are very moving. If I were a justice, the commitment that I would make to you and all people affected by the laws is that I would follow the law as you enacted it and I have no agenda. I would not be coming in with any agenda. I would do equal justice under the law for all and not try to thwart or, or disrupt in any way the policy choices that you and your colleagues have adopted. So are you saying that the impact of the Affordable Care Act on the millions of people who rely upon it that those who you would deem to be co policy considerations that um, we should address? Senator, I think that you choose the law and you've structured the Affordable Care Act. It's a complex, long statute. I think you set the policy and then I think when a court um, has to interpret the statute or decide how it applies in a certain circumstance, the court looks to tradi traditional legal materials, looks to the briefs, it listens to the real world impact on the litigants who are before the court arguing the case because every case affects real litigants, mm -hmm. every case affects real people. I said in my opening statement yesterday that, you know, when you pass statutes, they're often named for the co-sponsors of the bill, but cases decided by all courts are typically named after the parties. They affect real people. Judge Barrett, so are you saying that all of the stories that we brought forth yesterday and the millions of people who are relying on the Affordable Care Act can rely upon you that th those impacts would be considered by you, that you would consider those to be legal arguments that you would consider? Because when you say that you're going to make a decision based on the law, the real life stories that we've been talking about, you would consider those to be part of the law? Senator Hirono, every case that becomes before a court, because as I was saying earlier, no case comes before a court unless it involves real live people who've had a real live dispute. And it is the job of a judge deciding every case to take into account the real world real-world consequences of the parties before it. So does that mean that you would agree with uh, Justice Ginsburg that the court should be taking into consideration the real-life effect of the decisions that they make? Because she wrote a number of dissents saying that the majority did not consider the real-world impacts of their decisions. So are you aligning yourself with Justice Ginsburg in terms of what you would consider real life impacts and the effect it would have on your decision regarding the law? Well, Senator, I don't know what context, this, the particular context in which Justice Ginsburg was describing that. Um, I think what I'm trying to align myself with is the law and that I will take into account all factors, including real world impacts, when the law mm -hmm. makes them relevant, as it clearly does, for example, in the doctrine of stare decisis.